What if the secret to melting away that stubborn belly fat isn't about what you put on your plate but the exact moment you put your fork down? Most of us have been taught that a calorie is just a calorie. That 500 calories at noon is the same as 500 calories at 10 p.m., but modern biology is proving that this is a lie. Your body is not a simple calculator. It is a highly complex rhythmic machine. It has a master clock. And when you ignore that clock, your body stops burning fat and starts storing it. When you decide to stop eating at 6 p.m., you aren't just skipping a snack. You are performing a biological handshake with your hormones. You are aligning your metabolism with the rising and setting of the sun. In the next few minutes, we are going inside your cells to see what happens hour by hour when you close the kitchen early. We will explore why the a.m. to 6 a.m. is the golden window for visceral fat loss. And we will reveal how a single hormone, melatonin, can either be your best friend in fat burning or your worst enemy in weight gain. Trust me, once you see what happens to your insulin levels at night, you will never look at a late night snack the same way again. Before we unlock the science of the 6 p.m. rule, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Here, we transform complex biology into your personal success story. It is 6 p.m., you've just finished your last meal. For the next three hours, your body is in the postprandial phase. Your digestive system is working at full capacity. Glucose is entering your bloodstream. Your pancreas responds by releasing insulin. Think of insulin as a security guard. His job is to take that energy and push it into your cells, but he has another job, too. Insulin is a storage hormone. Whenever insulin is high, the fat-burning door is locked. Your body cannot burn fat while it is busy processing new food. If you eat at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., this guard stays on duty until well past midnight. But by stopping at 6 p.m., you give the guard an early shift. By 9 p.m., your insulin levels begin to drop. The glucose from your dinner has been moved. The bloodstream is clearing out. Your body is now entering a state of quiet transition. It is moving from consumption mode to maintenance mode. This is where the magic starts. While the rest of the world is spiking their insulin with late-night chips, your body is preparing to unlock the vault. Around 9 p.m., your brain's pineal gland begins to secrete melatonin. We know melatonin as the sleep hormone, but it has a secret role in your metabolism. Here is the scientific catch. Melatonin and insulin do not get along. Evolution designed us to eat during the day and sleep at night. Because of this, when melatonin rises, it tells your pancreas to slow down. Your body becomes naturally insulin resistant at night. If you eat a snack at 10 p.m., your body is not prepared for it. Your insulin guard is sleepy. He can't move the sugar into your cells efficiently. As a result, that sugar stays in your blood longer, causing inflammation, and eventually it is diverted straight to the easiest storage site, your belly. By stopping at 6 p.m., you avoid this clash entirely. By the time melatonin is high, your insulin is already low. Your body is in a perfect state of hormonal harmony. Are you finding this breakdown helpful? If so, give this video a like. It helps us keep the science coming. Midnight has arrived. You haven't eaten for six hours. Because your insulin is now at a baseline level, the security guard has finally gone home. The door to your fat reserves is wide open. Specifically, your body begins to target visceral fat. This is the hard fat stored deep inside your abdomen, surrounding your organs. It is the most dangerous type of fat linked to heart disease and diabetes. But it is also the most metabolically active. Between the hours of 2 a.m. and 6 a.m., your body enters a state of high-efficiency fat oxidation. Without any glucose coming in from the stomach, your liver starts converting body fat into ketones. This is your internal furnace. While you are dreaming, your body is literally mining your belly for energy to keep your heart beating and your lungs breathing. 
If you had eaten at 10 p.m., this furnace would never start. Your body would still be struggling with that late-night glucose. You would miss the golden window of fat burning. As we approach the early morning hours, another hero enters the story, human growth hormone or HGH. Fasting, even short-term fasting like the 6 p.m. rule, is one of the most powerful triggers for HGH. This hormone is the fountain of youth. It protects your muscle mass, repairs your skin, and strengthens your bones. When your insulin is low, HGH spikes. It tells your body, don't burn the muscle for energy, use the fat. This is why people who stop eating early often wake up feeling tighter or leaner in the morning. You haven't just lost water weight, you've allowed HGH to spend the night remodeling your body. It is now 6 a.m., you have officially completed a 12-hour fast. Your body is in a state of metabolic flexibility. You have successfully burned fat all night. You might notice something strange, you aren't starving. This is because your ghrelin levels, the hunger hormone, actually stabilize when you follow a consistent circadian rhythm. Your body knows that energy is being provided by your fat stores, so it doesn't panic. When you finally do eat breakfast, your insulin sensitivity is at its peak. Your body is ready to use those nutrients perfectly. You've cleared out the trash from the day before through a process called autophagy and you are starting fresh. So, how do you make the 6 p.m. rule work for you? First, use the tea trick. If you feel mental hunger at 8 p.m., drink a cup of caffeine-free herbal tea. The warmth mimics the sensation of a meal and soothes the stomach. Second, dim the lights. Since melatonin is the key to this process, stop using bright overhead lights after 8 p.m. This helps your brain prepare for the fat-burning phase. And third, start gradually. If 6 p.m. is too hard, try 7 p.m. for a week, your body will adapt. If you're fascinated by how your body handles these windows of time, you absolutely need to see our previous video, What Happens to Your Body When You Fast for 24 Hours. It takes these principles and turns them up to 100. Stopping at 6 p.m. is not about deprivation, it is about restoration. It is giving your body the 12 to 14 hours of silence it needs to heal, repair, and burn what it has already stored. Belly fat is often just a symptom of a body that never gets a break. When you stop eating at 6 p.m., you aren't just changing your waistline. You are changing your relationship with time and biology. You are proving that you are in control. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment with your results, and subscribe to The Science Effects. Together, we will keep uncovering the secrets hidden inside your DNA.